course, uh, let's talk about uh, what's happening, uh, or rather the announcement that we look forward to tomorrow. Now, we heard today that Nigeria and uh, Benin will be presenting their bid to host uh, the 2027 uh, Africa Cup of Nations. And I would like to ask you, do you think Nigeria is ready to host a tournament as big as the Africa Cup of Nations? Well, I, I think, you know, um, you know, we are going to be doing a lot of disservice uh, if you say we are ready now, because uh, we're still talking about 2027, that is like in the, five, next, in the next five years. So I would say for now, we're not ready, because even the, the Tesla Balogun Stadium that was put, you know, in the bid is not yet ready. It's still under construction. So we can't say we are ready now. But of course, projection about, you know, the stadium, remember Nigeria, presented eight um, stadia, and of course, um, Benin Republic presented two stadia, making 10 together from Nigeria and Benin Republic. So um, right now, I would say, you know, both um, countries are ready, but of course, with production, with work being done by the government, with money being pulled out from the federal government, uh, I think these um, stadiums, you know, can actually, um, you know, be up to that standard in 2025. Um, the CAF inspection came to Nigeria, and of course, they checked most of this uh, stadium, the facilities, the projection, if it's going to meet up to 2027, and I think um, it's, a, it's a pass for them. And of course, um, maybe tomorrow, after maybe the 10 minutes um, uh, presentation that will be done on the CAF Congress, we'll see what um, CAF will, be, will, will, will do to, you know, to, to the bid. But of course, now, we, I can't say we are ready, but the projection about you know, in 2027, in five years' time, I think all this stadium will be ready to host um, the world, as right. well as uh, Africa. All right, you know, the last time Nigeria hosted the AFCON was in 1980. Now they co-hosted with Ghana, and that was in 2002. And that was when they had that co-hosting uh, for the AFCON with Ghana. Now, looking ahead of 2025 and 2027, we've seen a couple of uh, football stadiums right here in Nigeria, most especially the so much talked about Uyo Stadium, and that uh, they call it the Nest of Champions. There's also the Seven Keshi Stadium, but then the National Stadium in Surile, Lagos, is nowhere ready for any tournament. And for years now, we've been talking about renovation, 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 until today, it is still not completed. I'm looking forward to 2027. Uh, are we sure uh, that um, uh, CAF will give Nigeria this bid? But we're already hearing rumors that the likes of Algeria or Morocco will be handed this bid. Uh, you know, you talk about the fillers, you know, I was part of the campaign of uh, Morocco. I'm talking about destination 2025. And I think talking about the AFCON 2025, I think uh, it's close to being named, um, being given to Morocco. But you know, all hands are on deck for the 2027. Um, I think you know the major competitor in court, I would say, uh, will be the East Africans because we have Uganda, we have Kenya, we have Tanzania, three you know, nations coming together to submit a bid for 2027. And when you know the FAP, the car president is talking about you know Africa unity, Africa togetherness. He's talking about East Africa, three, uh, three countries from East Africa. So they have edge as well. We have Egypt in the bid as well. Remember, Egypt hosted in 2020, 2019, and they had a very good tournament. They had the facility already on ground. They are not even doing projection. They have the facility on ground for them. Senegal in the mix as well. Remember, Senegal is the king of Africa when it comes to football right now. And they want to bring that, those football you know, teams back to Senegal and show them what they can offer after conquering. Um, Africa on the field of play. And of course, we have um, Algeria. Of course, Algeria can be, you know, um, they have so many issues going on. Remember the, the, the African qualifier, they had issues with facilities. So they are having issues internally in their federation. That's why they want to, they want to clean their house before they go to CAF. But of course, CAF, CAF is saying you have to come tomorrow, Wednesday, to present you know, what you have on the table. If it's good for us, we are going to accept. If not, we are going to reject. But right now, they've rejected the withdrawal. So, the, the competition is actually very intense. You remember the hello, um, um, you know, um, person that will, will be, be in charge of um, the, the bid is actually a very, you know, experienced um, uh, um, organizer. Remember, he was part of the team that, you know, hosted them, the, Af um, the All Afghan Games. He was part of the other 17 worker that was hosted in Nigeria as well. So he's more experienced, very experienced. And let's see what will happen. But remember, you know, it's, it's down to calf. 10 minutes of final presentation will be done tomorrow on the floor of the CAF conference, uh, Congress in Egypt. Hopefully, we, we, we get it. But right now, Nigeria is not ready. Benin is, is not ready. But of course, in the next um, five to six years, I think the 10 stadium you know, put on ground by, by these uh, organizers or, of course, bid makers can actually be ready. 
All right, so let, let's take a look at uh, the sports minister now and also the Nigeria Football Federation president. A lot of um, feelers that I've been getting is that these two bodies are ready to take sports to the next level in Nigeria. I'm talking about Senator uh, Eno and, of course, uh, uh, Ibrahim Guso, the president of the Nigeria Football Federation. It looks like these two bodies are ready to take football, or rather sports, to the next level. I've been getting a bit of results from different sports, the likes of handball, there's wrestling, and also uh, football, of course, with the current victory for the Super Eagles of uh, Nigeria. What do you make of the administration and also their plans uh, for sports in the country? Okay, let me just take it from two sides. You know, for, for, the, for the NFF, talking about uh, the new you know, NFF president, we can't say new more again, but yes. um, I would say new because um, it just came into being. But um, if you look at what they've done, you know, uh, very, very notable is taking that um, Super Eagles game from Abuja to Uyo, where it has been a good hunting ground for the Super Eagles. I think that's the first big, big, you know, tax for them to, 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 to do. And of course, they are playing in Uyo. For the for the minister, I think you know it's it's just normal. He's still doing consultation. Remember, he had meetings with all federations, uh, president, representative, permanent secretary, and the only you know federation in court that did one one on one. He didn't mop up together. He didn't mop football with other federation. He had a personal direct you know consultation and you know uh, uh, you know meeting with the NFF you know hierarchy. And I think you know it's it's. It's a big deal for you know for the sports minister to look in that direction. You know, taking football to be the to, to be the pinnacle when it comes to federation in, in in Nigeria. And I think consultation is good. So far, so good is good. You know, the youth games is going. It was there himself. He didn't send any representative, uh, which is good. You know, came back all the way from uh, from Germany to actually attend the opening ceremony of the youth game. He's doing a lot of consultation. He's a new minister. He's meeting federation with the president, federation of permanent secretary. And of course, he's talking with Ibrahim Gusso to find a way to find, you know, because we have so many issues, you know, the money issue, the allowances issue. Remember, the super, the super issues are still being owned, the allowances still, you know, um, the last nation's cup in Cameroon. Remember, they're still um, pending, you know, outstanding for um, Joseph Porcello. There's still talks with them. Um, Round one of the super falcons, you know. So there are mm. lots of you know things going on with the NFL that they need the NFL, they need the minister to come on board to actually give them this ovation through the federal government. So the consultations are good, the outlook is good, you know, so far. Hopefully, at the end of the day, we have a good, you know, because of course, remember the NPFL will start this weekend as well. So it's like things are moving smoothly so far, but of course, let's wait till you know we see what um, they will put on the table for us eventually. All right, uh, thank you very much, Laimon Adebayo, for joining us and talking about this. And we hope that tomorrow we'll get to hear uh, the good news, or rather, may the best host nation win the bid to host the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Fabian.